Okay, so first of all, type one and then two. Then select these cells and drag them down the same number of rows as the table. And then drag them across and keep going until you get to a hundred. It will automatically add one each time. Okay, then select this column here and go back to the beginning and hold down shift and select the first column. Then go to format and change the column width to 0 0.2 to make all of the columns really skinny. Now the numbers are still in these cells, you can see them in the formula bar here. These cells are just now too small for you to be able to see them. Then select the first cell here and press Control A to select everything else. Then go to conditional formatting and new rule. Then select use a formula to determine which cells to format and the formula will be equals and then the cell reference will be the active cell here. So that's A, B, C, D, E, F and then the row number is three. So the active cell is F3 and the formula will be the value in this cell less than or equal to the value in this cell. Now I want the formula to continue to look in this column for all of these cells. So I'm going to leave the dollar sign in front of the column letter, but I want the row number to change as the conditional formatting goes down. So I'm going to remove the dollar sign from in front of the row number. And then the formatting that will be applied will be to change the cell fill to a blue color and OK, and then OK again. And now you'll see that these cells have changed to blue. So each of these cells has a number in them, and if that number is less than the number in this cell, the fill will be changed to blue. So if I select all of these, you'll see that the count down here is 25, and that's the same as this number here. And because all of the cells are really thin, it looks like a bar chart. Now select the first cell again and press Control A. Then go to Conditional Formatting and New Rule and use a formula. And this time the formula will be similar, but it will be equals F3 less than or equal to this number here. However, in order to make this into a stacked bar chart, what I actually need is this number here plus this number in order to get all of the green on the right hand side of the blue. And again, I want to always be looking in these two columns here, but I want the row numbers to change as I go down. So I will remove the dollar signs from in front of the row numbers and the formatting to apply this time will be a green cell fill and OK and OK again. And now everything has turned to green and that is because of the order of the conditional formatting. So select everything and go to conditional formatting and manage rules. Then select this rule and move it downwards and OK. And now you'll see that the blue and green are layered correctly. So if I select all of the green values here, the count this time is 14, which is the same as this number here. Now we just have one more layer of conditional formatting to add. So new rule and use a formula. And this time it will be F3 less than or equal to this value here, plus this value, plus this value. And again, I will remove the dollar signs from in front of the row numbers. 
and the formatting this time will be a yellow cell fill and OK and OK again. Then I need to reorder the formatting and move this one to the bottom and OK. And now we have what looks like a stacked bar chart. And you'll see if I change the numbers here to 50, for example, it makes the blue much larger and changing the green to five will make it smaller. And I can also make the yellow much bigger. So you can see that this is dynamic. And if I change the numbers in the table, the cell color fill will update to match it. Now you might want to also add borders to this. So select everything again and go back to conditional formatting and manage rules. And then edit each of the rules to change the formatting and this time add a border to the top and the bottom and OK and OK again and apply and now we have a border on the top and the bottom of each of the blue cells and I'll do this for both of the other rules as well. And now we have borders on the top and the bottom of every cell with a color in it. Now in order to get a vertical black line separating out all of the colors, we need to create one more rule, which will also be a formula, but this time it will be an OR formula, because there are three different numbers that it can be. So it will be if F3 is equal to the value in this cell here, and again, remove the dollar sign from in front of the row number, or if F3 is equal to this value plus this value, and remove the dollar signs. And then for the third option, I will copy this, control C and control V, and then add dollar sign D3 to this and close brackets. So the third option will be this value plus this value plus this value. And the formatting this time will be a border on the top and the bottom and the right hand side. And OK. And OK again. And OK again. And now we have borders separating each of the colors. I'm just going to add in one more border on this side by adding in a left border here. Now, in order to get rid of the grid lines here, you can select everything and change the fill color to white to get rid of the grid lines, or you can go to view and remove the grid lines from the whole of the sheet. You can also remove the headings here by unticking the headings option to make it less obvious that all of these are really small cells. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make an in-cell stacked bar chart in Excel, and that is everything.